Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll do a simple home NAS setup with Ubuntu Server 20.04, the most recent LTS release, ZFS on four disks, and Samba for broad cross-platform compatibility with file share clients. So here we are on the Ubuntu server box. And first, we'll need to install just two packages, namely sudo apt install zfs utils dash linux and of course samba and hit return sounds good let's uh hit uh yes to continue and let it do its thing And there we go, all done with the package installation. That's all we need uh, due to the rest of this tutorial. Next, let's see where our disks are. Let's start with doing a simple LSBLK and hit enter. And as you can see, we have four disks attached to this uh, machine, SDB through SDE. And they're 400 gigs each, four, uh, four 400 gig identical disks. So um, let us uh, get the disk IDs by typing sudo ls dash lh slash dev slash disk slash by dash ID and hit enter. And these are the unique IDs uh, for the four disks that we'll need uh, to set up our pools. So one configuration might be a RAID Z1 pool, like so. sudo zpool create dash f dash m slash mount slash data And then the name of our pool would be pool 01. I'll have to put a new line in here. So backslash and hit enter. So uh, this will be of type RAID Z. And the first disk, let's find the first disk, uh, would be SDB in this case. Uh, we'll need to copy paste, otherwise that'd be a lot of typing. So I found it here. This is the first disk, SCSI, SATA, Ubuntu server, one underscore, and then the ID. So we'll put that in there by copy pasting. That's our first disk. Second disk would be SDC, we'll find that. Ah, here it is. So I'm just gonna copy paste this one. That's our second disk. Our third disk is SDD. So we'll find SDD here in this list. Uh, there it is. So we'll just um, copy paste this ID. And finally, the fourth disk to add to our pool, pool 01 in this case, would be SDE. And so I'll do the same thing as before, copy paste. And hit enter. And uh, so the pool 01 has been created. In this case, we're leaving a shift as default or zero by leaving it out and hope the disk hardware correctly reports the sector size. A shift is out of the scope of this quick tutorial. For more in-depth discussion, check the ZFS on Linux documentation. I'm leaving the link in the description below. Um, but um, in the meantime, let's go and check the uh, pool status. So we can do that by typing 
sudo zpool status dash v pool 01. And as you can see, it's been set up correctly. Every All disks are online. Uh, no errors, which is, of course, as expected. Um, let us check and see how much space our pool has. So we do a quick df, disk free, um, minus k, or dash k, and hit enter. As you can see, pool 01 has a little over a terabyte. And with this configuration, you'll have one disk redundancy, and you are getting a lot of storage out of those disks. The downside is lack of performance. It's only as fast as the slowest disk, which limits the IOPS, and the whole thing slows to a crawl for any heavy operations, such as resilvering after failure recovery and so forth. Also, if you need to do resilvering and recover from a disk failure, uh, you actually lose redundancy as you resilver. Therefore, we can get away with half the storage, but can use greatly improved IOPS and performance. I strongly recommend a mirrored configuration by pairing the disks. Before we can do that, let's destroy the first pool. So we can type sudo zpool destroy pool 01. All right, so that's done. Uh, let's create a second, this time a mirrored pool, and um, see what we get then. So we can uh, do the following. Um, we can, first of all, run the uh, ls command again to check for the uh, disk IDs, since they're now off screen, or mostly off screen. So we'll do this again. All right, as you can see with this list, we've got our partitions created um, from the last pool creation, which we're gonna ignore because we're only using whole disks um, for the new pool. So we go ahead and uh, type sudo zpool create dash f dash m slash mount slash data, just like before. This will be pool 02 to avoid confusion with our uh, destroyed uh, pool 01. And we need to go to a new line. And this time, time we uh, use mirror option, mirror. So we'd like uh, two mirrored pairs. So the first one will be SDB. So we'll look for SDB here, and it's way up here. And we'll copy paste that. So that's the first disk of the first mirror. Second disk of the uh, first mirror would be SDC. So we'll look for that. And here it is. Copy paste that in. Okay, our first mirror has been set up. Now let's do the second pair, mirror. And let's find SDD. SDD is here, so I'm going to copy paste this one. And finally, last but not least, SDE uh, to round out the second mirror. SDE is right here. And that looks good. All four disks are in 
a place for two married pairs as the new uh, Z pool. So we just hit enter. And there we go. So let's take a look at the status by typing sudo Z pool status dash V pool zero two. And there we have mirror zero and mirror one under pool zero two. And we've got two pairs. So um, that looks like the arrangement we like uh, for more performant uh, Z pool. So let's take a look and see how much space we've lost. So before we had a little over one terabyte available in the pool. Now let's take a look by typing uh, df dash k. Uh, looks like we have instead uh, around 800 gigs. So we've lost a little. Um, 800 gigs, so effectively we're getting uh, two disks worth of storage. But we're getting a greatly increased performance and uh, the uh, recovery and resilver operations um, will not imp impact the uh, performance nearly as much. So in my book, unless you're desperate for storage, uh, this is definitely um, uh, my most uh, my best recommendation uh, out of these two scenarios. So, um, assuming we'll stick with this layout, uh, let's next uh, rename the pool. So, we can rename pool zero two uh, back to pool zero one, which has been destroyed earlier, uh, by typing the following: uh, sudo z pool export pool 02 so we export the config and uh, we'll import the config into pool 01 by typing sudo z pool import pool 02 pool 01 So uh, let's make sure that everything uh, uh, makes sense by typing sudo zpool status minus v. And there we go. We've got pool 01 as our current pool. So we've effectively renamed pool 02 to pool 01. And we've got our two mirrors still set up correctly. So there we go. Um, we are uh, sticking with this pool and let's create a data set. So we can do this by typing sudo zfs create pool 01 slash, I'll call the data set dset 01. So dset01 is our data set. And hit enter. So we're almost there. We just need to set up a share uh, for yourself. So uh, we can do that by typing sudo zfs set share smb equals on. And then the pool would be pool 01 slash and the data set which we named d set 01 and we hit enter and a little typo there so let me go and fix that xfs is another file system that is not handled in this current video zfs rather there we go so um Next, let's give ourselves um, uh, ownership of the, uh, the Samba share uh, to keep things simple for this video. So we can do that by typing sudo chown dash capital R. So uh, I'm Steven in this case, obviously. So it would be Steven of group Steven slash mount slash data. 
Next, let's give ourselves a separate Samba specific password like this. sudo smb password dash a Steven. And I'll give myself a new separate password. This is separate from my Unix password uh, for this machine. It's specifically for Samba only. And we'll type it again. So that's done. Uh, what's next is in order to test this very simple NAS share on a Windows 10 client, let's grab the server's IP address. So PA. And as you can see, our address is 10.1.10.65. So let's switch over to the Windows session and see if we can connect to our new Samba share with our Samba password. So let me just switch over to our Windows session. And let's open up the file explorer. Let's switch over to network and let's do a quick test. So let's do whack whack or backslash backslash 10.1.10.65 backslash and hit enter and see what happens. There we go, it's asking for credentials. These are our Samba credentials, not our Unix credentials. So, Steven is the username, password is the Samba password. And hit enter, and there it is. There's our share, pool01 underscore data set01 or d set01. So let's double click here and see if we can create a subdirectory. So I'll call this one, say, movies. So that worked. And next, let us create a text file. Let's call it readme. And uh, let's... Uh, put in the following text, um, say, call it home movies. And let us save. And there we go. So here we can upload our home movies, if you like. Looks like everything is working properly. So, I would call this a success for a very, very simple uh, exercise. This is actually a fairly complex topic, and I've just barely scratched the surface. There are many details we unfortunately were not able to cover due to the time constraints, but I hope this super simple example will at least give you some ideas for your own home NAS. Please leave comments and click the like button and do consider subscribing to support future content on this channel. Until next time.